y'all it's kennedy simone here and i am back again with another video if you're new to my channel welcome don't forget to subscribe to be a part of ken's crew because we're the best crew and you know a little bit about me i'm a rising sophomore at the illustrious spelman college in atlanta georgia i'm an economics major minoring in management and organization from Shreveport, Louisiana. But yeah, that's a little bit about me. But everybody I know, if you're watching this, you're probably excited for move in day, first week of college, and I'll get you right. This is the survival guide for the first week of college. Um, at Spelman, we call it NSO week, new student orientation week. So yeah, I'm gonna help you guys out so you guys won't be too nervous or anxious or kind of not knowing what to expect and do on the first week of college. So I'm gonna get y'all right. So definitely stay tuned. I'm about to get right into this video. So I have about eight things I'm gonna talk about that will really get you prepared for the first week of college. So the first one is spend as much time with your family and friends, whoever is moving you in, as much as possible before they leave. So whenever you first get there, you're excited, you're trying to, you know, meet new people, and yes, that's great and that's cool. But your family, your friends, like, they're leaving like you're gonna be in college for a little bit until you see them again so definitely try to savor the moments with them try to spend as much time as you can with them before they leave I know for some people it's gonna be some waterworks happening I know with me it's a little bit of that going on not too much cuz you know real G's don't cry no it's seriously you're gonna wanna have some memories of you guys a moving day in like the first like few days that they're there so definitely, you know, take some pictures with your fam, you know, go out to dinner, maybe spend the night at the hotel the first night if y'all want to. Um, I didn't just because I, I was too hype. I was actually too hype. But yeah, definitely try to do that. I definitely recommend that because family first, you know, they're not going to be there. They're going to let you fly off into the wind. But yeah, don't forget about your family on, on the first week of college, okay? So another thing that I would like to mention is... Go to all the first week events, freshman week events, move-in week events, NSO events, all that kind of stuff, go to it. So this is the time where on campus it'll pretty much be just the freshman class and of course like, you know, upperclassmen that are like peer assistant leaders or something like that. But yeah, for the most part it's gonna be just your class. So get to know your class, okay? And by doing that, going to welcome events will definitely help. I mentioned that in my last video, 10 mistakes to avoid your freshman year of college. Definitely check that out. I'll put it right here. But yeah, I definitely mentioned that because you're going to want to be engaged. And the first week is the best time to meet as many people as possible. And this is where you get the free t-shirts, the little coupons, gift bags, and other free items. You're going to want to go, okay? stock up on them shirts okay so another thing is meeting new people and making friends are inevitable so just be open to like different kinds of people keep an open mind about just the variety of people that you'll probably meet during the first week of college and you know don't be so quick to judge I know you know everybody of course has first impressions and you know initially judge you off of like their first time meeting you or first time seeing you but it's like try not to judge so much just because you never know like you don't know where people have come from their background and just you never know that could be your best friend or your lab partner you never know okay so definitely just try to be open to making new friends and meeting new people get out there like I'm not saying just jump around and speak to everybody you see like passing by but definitely you know be friendly like smile to people go up to people if you see they're by themselves or like just randomly sit with a new person at lunch or dinner or breakfast or whatever just try to be a more outgoing person I know some people are introverts I am low-key an introvert. I'm kind of in the middle, but I'm low-key an introvert when it comes to, like, first meeting people. So definitely try to step out of your shell if you are in a shell. Um, yeah, definitely try to do that because it'll definitely help with your first week of college experience. So another thing, go to the club fairs, the organization fairs, career fairs that they have like the first week. I know for us we had a, like a club and organization fair and it basically showcased all the different clubs and organizations that we have on our campus. Just try to talk to different people. You never know like even if you're not super interested, just try to get to know more people and by that going up to people, asking them about their organization or club and you never know, you might end up liking it and you might join a club and meet more 
girlfriends and you know the cycle just continues so another thing pro tip find where all your classes are before the first day of class so i know for me i personally went around the campus and try to figure out where each of my classes were it'll definitely help eliminate stress and nerves before the first day of classes um, that first week you should probably have made your schedule I know for Spelman we make our schedule during new student orientation week so it probably may be different for you guys but I'm pretty sure you're gonna have your schedule made before the first day of class so definitely try to go around the campus and map out what classes you're gonna be taking and where they are try to get a mental picture of where you're heading to just so you won't be completely lost or late even so another survival tip call home don't forget about your friends and family back home they're gonna want to know what you're up to they're anxious to hear about your experience so far they want to make sure you're okay don't leave them hanging call them okay call them but yeah no for real like call your family call your friends from back home don't forget about them like you're gonna go back for christmas break so don't forget about them and they just want to make sure you're okay that you're adjusting to the college life just let them know you don't have to talk to them for like five hours every single day like it can be a quick five minute phone call or some text here and there just try to talk to them at least once a day during that first week at least that first week i definitely recommend talking to your family and friends multiple times throughout the week if not every day but you know everybody's different but yeah definitely try to stay in touch with your family and friends the people who got you to college i know everybody has a village that you know pretty much got them to the point they are now definitely tell them what you're up to they want to know they want to know where their money or time or effort is being put into okay another thing a lot of people have a problem with this i kind of sort of have a problem with this and that is asking for help i know the first week i may have had a couple issues um not anything big but just some things i should have asked for help for and i did it just because i i don't know if i was shy or if i just didn't want anybody to help me or i don't know what i was thinking but girl boy ask for help okay it's always somebody there that's looking to help somebody else whether that be an RA a peer assistant leader an upperclassman maybe even your friend like just know that there is somebody out there that's going to help you if you don't have anybody ask me I'm always here I always answer the comments I love talking to you guys so so much like y'all are lit like Ken's crew is so lit like <laughs> but yeah definitely you know ask for help don't be struggling on your own have somebody that's gonna help you okay so the last and final thing I know this kind of went fast but yeah go out have fun college is lit okay but that first week of college without you know going to class is the best week because you don't have to worry about anything academic related for the most part like it's lit okay go to all the fun parties all that kind of stuff have fun girl turn up find you a group of you know going out friends or something just have fun like college is fun but you know for Spelman we have spell jail where you can't leave the campus for a certain amount of time don't go out before spell jail that's not okay yeah it's not cute you know stay stay in spell jail for a couple couple days it's not that bad it's really not that bad you're gonna be too busy trying to meet new friends and go to all the events so yeah after spell jail and all that go out turn up you know olive branch that's lit go to the after parties all that kind of stuff that we doing the most now but you know have fun because when classes start it's time to get down to business and and yeah at that point you have to worry about academics so why not turn up the first week and you know get all partied out okay so that's pretty much all the survival tips i have for you guys for the first week of college before your classes start definitely comment down below what you're most looking forward to for the first week of college i really want to talk to you guys and know what y'all have going on so yeah if you haven't already you should be subscribed turn your notification on all that kind of stuff i'll wait okay okay <laughs> but yeah that's pretty much all i have to say i really appreciate you guys for getting me to 10,000 subscribers so yeah i'm super excited i'm really blessed and thankful for you guys i'm super excited to keep growing ken's crew the family the best crew okay 
I'm super happy. Definitely follow me on all my social media. I love you guys so, so, so much. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye. Kennedy, some more.